Hey, but it's Sam back once again. You wanna remove the Bigsby option, don't whoa, 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 what's that? As you can see, you can remap it, even with the latest update, to actually don't remove Bigsby, but you remap the button. Wanna see how? I'm gonna show you right now. So let's go to our apps, and we wanna to go to, tell you what, actually, just go to the Play Store, go to the search, and search, search for Bigsby. There are many different options for you. Now, the one I'm using that I think works perfect is called Bigs Buy. And as you can see there, Bigs Buy. When you go into it, you need to enable it. So now, as default, it will be turned off. So I'm just gonna turn it all off now just to show you what you need to do. So as you can see, when you load it up, it'll be like this. So now, the Bigsby button is back to Bigsby. Thinking, oh, you don't wanna use Bigsby. Okay, so open up the app. Choose what you want it to do. So an example in this case, I've chose, I want it to toggle my flashlight. So I'll toggle flashlight. And you're thinking, okay, now you need to just turn it on at the top. So when you tap there, it takes you to your accessibility options. You need to scroll down to the bottom. On here, we've got a couple of different options. We've got the big spear and other ones I've got as well. Tap on big spy. And here it says you are one step away. Click enable and it tells you what it's gonna give it permission to. So it needs these permissions, so then when you are trying to use Big Spear, I'll press the button, it does, nope, nope, doesn't want to work. So tap OK and you can see it's enabled. If I go back, it's enabled here and it's toggle flashlight. So now when I press it, the flashlight comes on. So instead of actually just removing Big Spear or disabling it as such, you can just remap the button. Now you can change it to everything, as you can see there, not the perfect, not always perfect. But let's say you want to change it and say you want to launch recents. So go home, tap it now, boom, recents come up. Every now and again, as you can see, Bigsby Home has loaded in the background. That's one bad feature, well, not feature, it's something they can't really stop. Because what this app's doing is it's looking for Bigsby to open and then putting something else there instead. So unlike previously where you could remap it completely, you can't really do that. What it's always doing, it's always looking for something else. As you can see there, Bigsby's closed. If I tap it again, Bigsby's open again. That's one, one little downfall, but to be fair, you can't really stop it. It's just the way it's gonna work. So if I wanna go to the power dialogue, tap it, it brings up power options for you. But in the background, Bigsby will open up again. There's nothing you can really do about that because it's just the way Samsung have uh, put their hot fix patch, whatever you wanna call it. This will not damage your phone. This will not kind of avoid any warranty. It is a completely legitimate app and it's free. So yeah, why not? Anyway, people, that's it. That is how you remap your Bigsby button to do anything you would like it to do pretty much within a set number of kind of features. But you can launch any app you want, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. Any questions on this or anything else you know what to do by now, hit me up in a comment down below. If you are new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, hit like. You know you want to. If you'd like to check out any previous videos, check those on screen right about now. And yeah, anyway, people, thanks for watching. You'll hopefully see me. Well, if you don't see me, you'll definitely hear me in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.